All right, folks, here we go. Uh, hopefully this will be the last one for this uh, activity and unit, okay? So right now I, uh, I wanna demonstrate how I'm bringing in um, references for a color palette in Blender, okay? So at this point you can see that here's my character um, lit, I guess. I can render it quickly and you'll see what I have here. And what I basically did here is I just borrowed some of the colors from here, okay, from this super awesome artist, which would be here. So I went down here to my Pinterest site quickly, uh, found that one I like, I opened a new tab, which happens to be here. Then ArtStation, the artist actually that I'm borrowing from is Ines uh, Jimenez. Okay, so you can download the picture, giving uh, credit to the artist, there you go. And then here's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're going to be in Blender. I'm just going to do this from uh, all of them. Should be quick. So I'm going to right click here. I'm just going to merge these two uh, join areas. Oh, so there's one. So when you're in uh, Blender as we speak, right, you're making these colors and you're, you kind of have a reference on the screen. You want to go back and forth. Essentially, what I want to do is I want to come in here inside each one of these colors. And inside this area, I want to pick the eyedropper. However, I need the reference to be in Blender itself, right? Okay, so here's what you do. You come over here, you, you hover your mouse until you get that crossbar, right click and you say horizontal split, up it goes, all right? So there it is. I'm just gonna bring this out a bit so you guys can see it, okay? So right now we don't need this, right? We don't need the stack, we don't need all this. So what we're gonna do is come down, click on the first arrow top left and change it to image editor. Let's assume you downloaded the image and you know exactly where it is. And then you have two a op couple options, new or open. I'm going to go with open. I'm going to go to my desktop. These are my test renders, right? Playing with color schemes. And I call it robot couleur color right here. Okay, there it is. So you zoom in, zoom out. Okay. So let's pretend I'm going to get out of this view. I'm going to go boom like this. And I'm going to press tab and uh, watch this. So the first thing, so let's just, let's just, uh, I'm going to delete all these colors. Bye. Okay, I can't kind of, because I'm in tab mode. Let me just delete it one second. One, out and out. Okay, so random. So we'll go new, and I'll say uh, robot uh, arm one. Okay, that's one. And I'm going to make a second one. So let's just keep it simple. One. You can continue here, right? Okay, so this is selected. Good to know. In here, white. Go to the eyedropper. For example, let's pick the darkest color there. Okay, there it is. All right, I have that. But here's the thing. That's okay. But if you want to add detail to this, so now we're going to go color number two. Boom, plus, name it. And then I'm going to call it uh, robot arm. I'm going to call this one stripe two. So I think I have one called that robot stripe somewhere. Anyhow, okay, so we got the second one. So watch this. Scrolling, picking the color eyedropper and I want the stripe to be something like this a pinkish red hue of some kind okay all right now the problem is you're going to say hey value how do I fix this okay tab use your option or alt key here for example one two like that for example okay actually let's uh let's do it over here like there let me go like that there one I'll do another one there okay and then I'll do three here like that I'll come in here should add more detail here but let me just go, I'm, I'm just basically holding Alt, and which is Option, and Shift, okay? And I'm just going to Shift click that one, okay? So that's what I want, something like that. I don't know how I got this one, so I'm going to Shift left click, Shift left click, get that out. Okay, so I want it to be this, see? Okay, so now that these faces are selected, you need to choose the sign. That's how you add it, okay? So if I wanted to have a reflective piece here for the button, I just make another one. Just come in, click on, and... Uh, Come on, robot, robot uh, arm VTN for a button, okay? So let's say I want this button to be a red and then you guys can do the rest, okay? So let's say red, right? So watch this, select one. I'm gonna zoom in, pre your key. Okay, whoa, look at that. I lost some faces, I didn't even know about it. Okay, let's fix it quickly, shall we? Watch this, it's the fill command, folks. Boom, excellent, F. Done. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to fix this here. Press I. Ooh, not bad. Okay, that's all right. Do I have another one on this side? Yeah, I knew what happened here. Going to come over here. Um, why can't I pick this? Okay. 
So let's just stick to the, and that's the same idea. I did a fill, right? Okay, so something happened there, right? So now you're looking down here, you go on red, right? And you assign. There you go. So the same thing over here. Uh, robot arm, assign. That's the idea. Okay. I'll fix all this off, off camera, basically, by going into edge loop. Boom. Grabbing the edge here, here, maybe press F for fill. Then I just come in here with three for face, and I'm going to press I for inset. So that there is at least it's not sitting on its own. I can fix that afterwards and so on. Okay, don't worry about it. This was a just so basically now what the point is. Um, this works right. You tab out. You've got multiple colors. All right, that took longer than I expected. Not bad. Five four four. All right, valiant out. I hope this makes sense to you guys. And now I can kind of render it out and check it out. Okay. All right. Let's see. Boom. See, you've got all this cool stuff going on. All right. That's it. Valiant out. Thank you.